great white swift like a tight door opening like heaven like you up like a ladder since it's bare like a bingo can't care that's how you feel though uh, why is it young J-A-Y? I tell her what move why cause it gonna blow many bitches like a shot what you gonna do yeah he got an attitude today bro he ain't in the mood so if you step into that ring that's it for you always on go so yeah bitch suck with him I'm daring anybody ready to go buck with him ready to shoot them hands they loaded not gonna lock with him boom got him get your man down someone come get him from that shot say now who the next not victim not for anybody not scary at all not sure who be the problem oh that's his opponent get the least cabral What's the word? What's the word? You got your boy Vaughn here today. And today I got somebody special, y'all. I got Dominique the Shark Pittman from the dungeon and Jerry the stable mate, y'all. Not just any stable mate. This the shark stable mate. So just tell me a little bit about yourself, man. How long you been boxing? I've been boxing for about like five, six years now. Okay. But I've been into combats ever since I was little. Been doing this ever since I was three. When I turned twenty one. Okay, okay. I started that's when I really just locked in and just said, yeah, this is what I want to do. What inspired you to like start boxing more seriously? That tragedy in my life put me in a very dark place. Okay. And it put me in a dark space where I had to choose from where I was going to go next in my life. You know, and uh, I made a promise to my kids mm -hmm. that, you know, I would stay positive for them to to go on the, you know, the righteous path you know, that journey, you know, to stay positive, you know, be that role model for my kids and stuff, and, um, made me who I am and it changed my life, bro, bro, I, I take this very, very serious, this is, I'm very passionate about it, like, this is not a game. Jared the Staple, man, if you don't mind me asking, um, how, how long you been knowing the shark? I've been knowing Boom for a couple of years now. One thing I can say about Boom, Boom is the hardest worker in the gym. Boom probably be the first one here, last one to leave. He's training when ain't nobody else training. I'm training just to stay in shape. This is his life. This is what Boom really does. He really does this. His skills are sharpened. He's like a sponge. You tell him something and he gets better and better. You show him one time and he got it. I mean, he, he'll throw a thousand punches with one hand just to get it right one time. You don't find guys like that. You don't find guys with that kind of compassion. You don't find guys with that kind of commitment. You don't find guys with the backing that he has to kind of coach you. So, I'm going to say this. With a competition, when you when you step in the ring with this man, you step in the quicksand. I want to call you Boom. Because uh, i I seen it on your chest, too. Um, and you got you got jawbreak on your back. Give us a brief talk about like those how did you get that or like what inspired you for that too yes, as well who was a nickname given to me when i was born mm -hmm. by a cousin of mine she passed away it's my angel dog breaker was uh was my street name when i was out there in the streets you know lost in the world before i found myself that's my whole life have you done any fights recently or uh have you have you been in any uh exhibitions or anything i haven't fought since uh last year in september but I do have a fight coming up on July 8th at the Biloxi Civic Center. Is this an exhibition? Is it like a slugfest? It's going to be a pro exhibition. Do you know how many rounds or can you give us a little bit of that? Maybe three or four. Three or four rounds? Uh, yeah, five? Three minutes. Three minutes? Three minute rounds. Okay. Yeah, it's a real. Okay. Head gear come off. Gloves get smaller. Okay. Great. Power. Right. Power. How often do you train? I remember I seen you in your last fight uh, in the slugfest. It looked like you weighed a little bit more than you do now. Are you are you smaller? How did you how did you get to the uh, body that you have right now? I cut a lot of weight working hard. I cut out a lot of bad habits, food that I was intaking. Changed up my diet. I owe it to the diet. I owe it to the kitchen. Who's cooking for you? Huh? Who's cooking for you? I can't tell. <laughs> I can't tell that one. Okay, okay, okay. I feel you. I feel you. I understand. Can't give all the secrets away. Mm -hmm. It's a method to the madness. That's right. That's like your your role model or fighter. You just look up to them like you go to them for tape or film or how you can kind of incorporate that into yours, but make it your own as well. Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather? Okay. The thing that sticks out to me about Floyd Mayweather is that there's no blueprint how to beat Floyd Mayweather. There's a blueprint to beat other boxers. There's no blueprint to beat Floyd Mayweather. That's, that's almost close to perfect when... <laughs> People come up with a game plan that, that fails, like this man can uh, make the adjustments in mid-fight. Like, no matter what style you bring to him, he have an answer to it.
All right, Mr. Jerry, I got another question for you. You say his fighting style is different. Um, does, does his training make his fighting style different? Well, the thing about Boom and his fighting style, Boom don't just train for a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, he's trained physically, but he's also trained mentally. Um, he's humble. You know, uh, we're not worried about the bright lights. We're not worried about the names. We're not worried about who's in front of him. We're here for one reason, one purpose. And we're here to get a job done. We stay hungry and we stay positive. And Boom is that guy to watch for. He's gonna be the one. Y'all just watch for him. He's coming. For the people out there that that that, that want to reach, email you, or message you, or just a fan that just want to give you something that they love to give. You. How will we get in contact with you? Uh, you can find me on Facebook, Boom Jawbreaker Pitman, Instagram, Big Boom underscore Hot Boy, Snapchat, Big Boom Two Two Eight, TikTok. Big short 228. Mr. Jerry, got another question for you, my man, if you're on mind. Anybody want to be inspired uh, or just, like I say, want to check out Boom or get in contact with you guys on possible training or anything? And, like, how will we get in contact with you guys? We're here Monday through Friday. Uh, they can go to DixonDungeon.com, get in contact with John Dixon. We're here six to, from 6 to 8. And we do kids' classes. We do boxing, MMA, Muay Thai. I mean, we do a little bit of it all. It's, we like to call this gym Walmart, so you get a little mix of everything. Go to DixonDungeon.com and make your appointment, and we'll be here. Best gym on the coast. Thank y'all, fellas. Appreciate y'all. Uh, it, it's been an honor uh, to come in the dungeon and, and just watch you guys work. So I can't wait for July the 8th. Uh, it's going to be real electric, man. Like I said, beat us there. Don't meet us there. Long live Nick, by the way, too. Beat us. Wolves. Wolves.